Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this easel card. It's got an insert on the inside there and it is a gift box as well, which the entry to the gift box is a beautiful drawer front. Okay, so you just pull the drawer out and you can pop in tea lights, jewellery, um, just chocolates, anything really. This is going to be great for all occasions. It could be a lovely wedding gift. It could also be great for Christmas. You can make all of these in advance and have them all stacked up ready to give just a card. You don't have to have all this bulk as a stopper. You can just use a sentiment, but you will need some kind of stopper to stop the card from falling flat. Or if you don't mind it being flat, that would be fine as well. It's just that when the recipient picks it up, then you know or you could just make a flat card it doesn't have to be an easel you just do a flat card on the top so what i want to point out is that what i've done with my one is i've designed it so that you can make it out of um, a4 sheets and eight and a half by 11 sheets now the reason i've done that is because 12 by 12 you don't always get good construction card and i've designed it from those smaller um, pieces of card that you've got double walled um draw side so it's a really really like if i put it down upside down you can tell it's a really strong draw um don't put anything on the sides here because it could interfere with the uh, mechanism the reason i've got a piece of paper on the back is that's the only place there are two workings if someone would pull the drawer right out and i just wanted to cover it now you can get round that by using 12 by 12 and cutting it down but like i say i've designed it so that you can use your a4s and your eight and a half by 11s um, all around the sides etc there's no workings to be shown so it's all lovely and concealed and i'm going to show you how to do all of this today so what we're going to do is just pop the drawer back in and put it out of the way so you can see it just makes an absolutely gorgeous gift doesn't it and when you you know i've left this one so i can it just says daisy on it so i can change it for whatever occasion i want okay so let's get started on this and a big thanks to everyone that has liked watched commented and shared all my videos i really do appreciate it this is just a decoration I'm going to be using today. So I'm just going to put that to one side because we'll get into the actual construction. So what we're going to do first of all is make the um, drawer and the box that surrounds it. So what you need to do is cut down two pieces of card. Now this one is seven and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. Okay, so seven and seven eighths by eight and eight and seven eight that's annoying me that little bit of whatever seven seven eight eight and seven eight now it's important with this one so what we'll do is we'll do the shorter side first so line it up so you've got your seven and seven eighths bit i'm just going to fiddle with that aren't I, until it's gone there we go gnarly <laughs> funny how things get you eh <laughs> so with the shorter side what i want you to do is just score it one inch okay and then rotate it now all of the other sides all of the three other sides are going to get scored at one and at two so we're going to score it at one two flip it around one two flip it around one and two and you need to just have one here so the reason i've done it like that where you do it first is it so you don't forget where you're going to be doing it okay so when you've got your short side up there just score one okay now what that looks like because i've put writing on it so you've got your eight by seven eighths and your seven by seven eighths so when it's shorter seven by seven eighths you're only having one line there and then on all, all the others you're having two lines so what that means uh, is we've got these three squares so what we're going to do is we're going to cut away these two squares and we're going to cut away these three squares. OK, so I'm going to do that with the other one, but I wanted to show you with pen because it's clearer to see. So I'm going to grab hold of my card here. I'm just going to cut away, like I said, so the three squares. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that these tabs, because I like to leave a tab in because I don't like holes in the sides of my boxes. So we're going to have a tab to form the drawer. But what we're going to do is make sure that they tuck to the front and tuck to the back. Now, the one inch is the back. So make sure that you have your tabs cut here so they'll tuck that way. Don't cut them that way. So we're going to cut all of the way down with the widest side here and the one inch up there. And we're going to cut off 
these two now you have to be square like keep it square we're going to go all the way down to those two like that and then we're going to what we're going to do is cut these two off as well like that and then what you need to do then is just cut off here i can't see it very well in the light there and then leave one tab so you don't want to cut it all off because you need to leave one tab we're going to cut that off like that so then you've got one tab there okay now what you want to do is it always helps with boxes and things like that that you cut angles into those two tabs like so so we're going to do that again on this side so we're going to cut all the way down two tabs like this and then we're going to do it again cut all the way down two tabs like this and we're going to come along and we're going to cut these two off and then we're going to leave a tab there if we cut the second line with two off we'll have nothing for the box and it'll just be a hole then we're going to take away some of that width on the tabs so they tuck in nicely and they don't affect the depth of the box etc and then we're going to spin it around and we're going to do the same again but what you'll notice is that it's only one square so you're just going to cut down that one square to there and then this is your tab so you can go in, i won't confuse you because i would do a shortcut now i don't want to confuse you so you just go down that one and then take this one off here like this okay like that and then again on this side i'm gonna cut this one i'm gonna cut this one can't see the line because I've got the light shining on my project it's coming from the other side of me and it's giving me a shadow I can't see and cut that off you can probably see it better and then just cut the angles again on that and that's not important what they look like because they're going to be hidden so don't worry about it too much just make sure they're shorter smaller so what we've got is that now this is our draw base okay so we'll leave put that to one side so that's all the cutting done for that and then what we'll do is we'll move on to the um surround of the drawer if you like or in case it's that now a lot of these draw easel cards i'll just point out they come out the front but they also fall out the back because you make a wrap now i'm not making a wrap i'm making a full body enclosure for it to sit in because i don't want the drawer to come sliding out or anything from the back so i wanted it to be solid so that's what i'm going to show you how to make and again i'll show you what it looks like when i've scored it so with this one you need to have it with the short side so cut it down to 11 by 8 and then on the 8 inch side you're going to score at half one and a half six and a half and seven and a half okay so that's half one and a half six and a half seven and a half spin it around and you're just going to score it at five and at six just like that okay and that's all you need to do and that will look like this okay so it's eight by eleven and you've just done those score lines you've got your halves and your one each side and a one inch dead in the middle and then what you need to do here is i'll do it on here again so decide which side you if you've got pattern if you are using pattern paper then make sure that the right side's on the back um what you want to do is you, you, what we're going to do is we're going to cut away both sides of one half so both of these bits here are going to go on each side and then just this little bit and this little bit so we're going to get left with it two tabs okay so we're going to go ahead and cut that so again i'm just going to start at this end because that's the end i'm at so what i want to do and you want to make this a nice cut now i know it's an excuse but it really is difficult to see so hopefully i'm on the line because you want this to be on the line but you'll get the gist Okay, so we're going to remove that and we're going to remove this side as well i don't think i'm on the line there i'll correct it in a minute if it's wrong because that will be the top of your card and then we're going to chop away this like that 
and we're going to cut out that little one that's around the tab remember that little one on the edge of the tab just that half half one there okay and then again on the other side I'm going to cut that off there finish the cut of these two remove those and then cut that little bit of tab there like that okay and now what we need to do is decide where we want our tabs to be traveling okay so i want the tabs to come around the back of this box so you can't see it on the inside of the drawer and then we'll cover the back and it will give it the double wall that we don't have um sorry i want it to go on the inside what we're we talking about but i still need to cut down this way so with the short side facing you cut these tabs all the way to the end like that okay now what will happen is these tabs will come round to the inside of the back of the drawer and you won't see it so what I mean by that is the drawer comes in here like this so we take the drawer out and then inside the tabs are at the back they're not on the outside of the box to cause bulk they're on the inside back there I don't know if you can see those but they're on the inside back there and that's what we're aiming to do so they are going to be pulled up so what we need to do next is I'm just going to make the card so then I can get rid of the scoreboard. So with the card, what you need to do is cut down a 10 by 5 piece of cardstock. If you're making um, just a card to go flat on the top, then just fold it in half and you've got your card, okay? Um, if you want to make an easel, I'm going to show you how to do it. You score it at 5, which is halfway, and then you score it at 2.5. Alright, so it's just 5 and 2.5. And then you need a five by five square as well so that's those so i can move this out of the way so you get a better look at what i'm doing so this is the box and what we also need to do i'll cut some tabs here this is the outer of the box if you like so just going to make those tabs the same like this just cut them in And then also I like to cut these tabs back on each side so from the score line out we're just angling those tabs as well because they're going to get glued in on that like that okay so just move all these little bits out of the way we'll go back to the drawer now so the drawer is this funny shaped one and what we're going to do with this one is we're going to be folding these tabs in like this like this and then all of this as well so every side that you've got every crease that you've done make sure that you reinforce them there's going to be don't forget there's just that one on one side and two on the other because this is the only chance you're going to get to reinforce these once the box is made and fixed etc it's um, not going to be easy to, to reinforce things like this. So now you can see like these are going to go to the back and we're going to cover it. And these are going to come in. So what happens is these tabs are going to the front like this. And they're going to be entrapped when I fold that bit over. So they're hidden inside. And I will show you when we do it. Now the other thing I'd like to point out is it's a good idea now to do this and fold them over um, this bit here so if you fold it right over so you've got two bits coming over and the one at the back this is the front now if you're going to decorate the front it's a lot easier to do it right now okay so we'll do that and i'm going to decorate it with this strip of paper so i'm going to have it so i've got a little bit of a border and i'm just going to measure because obviously you've cut this to make sure that it's going to have that border and it's about by those so i'm just going to go like that and see if that's enough and yeah that looks okay to me so what we'll do is we'll glue that on and also now if you're going to be adding brads or um, anything like that it's a good idea to if you're not doing a ribbon pull or something that's sitting on the front and you want to put brads through it now is the time to punch your holes okay so what you would do is if, if it's too thick you can punch your holes here now just let that dry 
you can get your hole punch or if you're just using a um, you know that's a little bit big that one but it's okay we'll go with it so you can just pop your hole punch in and make your hole there if it won't work then fold it over and it's not where you want it turn it upside down and you'd measure all of this etc and you just find out where you want your holes to be because this would be a good one for tying ribbon behind so if we say it's about there then what you want to do is make the same on the other side I think that's a little bit too big for that yeah and then you need the same distance on the other side I'm going to do it by eye but you would measure it okay so about there so we've put our holes in so we'll have holes going through both pieces now so that's all that done that's made that a lot easier than trying to do that while it's a fixed and made draw and then the next thing we're going to do is take a liner for our draw because it always looks pretty with a liner doesn't it and we're just going to pop a liner in there and I can see that's I've cut that a little bit too big I just guessed it I'm just going to go and snip a little bit off the edge there and I'll be back one second right okay I'll cut that down so it should fit now I'm just going to use some colour glue and get my liner in because like I say everything's easier doing it beforehand and you can even put the outside strips on if you want so if you're decorating the outside of your card your drawer well you're not going to do any on here actually that's a lie you're only going to put the one on the back so you don't decorate these now that's the other one it was just the front one that you needed to decorate now and pop your holes in which mine are wonky look because <laughs> i didn't measure so what we're going to do now is make the draw its form okay so like i said these are going to go around the back so these tabs are going to be glued to the back of the drawer like that and then these ones are going to come to the front of the drawer get stuck to there and then we're going to move this down now what's really good about this is we can use tape on all of these sides because that makes it a lot quicker to do so i'll just grab my tape that one i need gluing because i've got all the holes in it so i'm just going to put tape onto these ready to go onto the inside so two bits of do and then just this side as well I could probably put a bit of tape up through the middle to save some time on that front one rather than you waiting for me to have glue dry or even just in the middle there look just a little bit to get it going and then the glue can do the rest it's always nice to have that time isn't it so these ones like I say are going to go on the outside so we can leave them to the end it'd be more important to get these ones in so I'm going to use a bit of wet glue because it's always nice to have that bit of wriggle time just get a bit of wet glue on there and on there so on the back of the tabs and then we're going to make the corners we're going to look at it and see where they look nicest to make sure that they fit in and this glue will take a little bit of time to stick so just give it a little rub down and you can see there that where that hole's big it's showing through i don't know if it is on the other side no nope, because i made it wonky didn't i <laughs> And then what you can do then is just cut a bit of that tab away it's not important it's just to make the whole purpose of that tab is to make this corner not be a hole if that tab wasn't there that could be a gaping hole so it just makes it finish and look tidy okay and it also adds stability to the box so that's the reason why i do have my tabs i like using tabs on things because it does give it a nicer finish so they're in place and then we can do the back ones now it's easier to do the front ones first bit of glue on them and them them and them i'm just going to hold that in place now you can see i over cut there as well because i couldn't see what i was doing my other one where well, i could see what i was doing is very accurate <laughs> and yours will be too so they get squashed down and now it's time to pull the tape off of these and put them into place so you're just going to be folding them onto the inside so just remove that little bit of tape from the front one and i'm just going to put wet glue along here because there's no tape so just a bit of wet glue all along there along there and then just fold it over the top and that is concealing and also making the box very very sturdy because you've got that double wall of card 
Okay. And this one, and this one. And lock that in like that. And again, we've got that nice popped out, didn't it? The glue wasn't dry. Now, what I say about the ribbon, I'm just going to grab some ribbon. I didn't get any out, so just bear with. Okay, so what you would do is you would thread your ribbon through the hole. I've cut it at an angle to make it easier. And then leave yourself enough length. And then just tie a nice knot at the back. Like so. You could thread them both through. If it's going to come through the hole... Which it may because it, you could. What you could do is join the two pieces of ribbon. So I might do that actually because these holes are rather large. So I'm going to cut that off. Make sure I've got plenty of ribbon because I can always cut it down. Just pop that side in through there. Make sure that it's um, nice on the front like that. And then what I can do is I can have something in there like a little bottle of glue. And that might be make it too big. I want something a little bit smaller than that in there. Just for me to go around. Oh, I'm trying to look here. What do I have? Maybe some glossy accents. That might even be too big as well. But that'll do. Be a little bit big. But we'll tie that at the back. And then what I'll do is remove that. And tie it a little bit closer I think. Because I don't want to have too much ribbon. And then knot it. And if we knot it away from the box edge, like this, probably didn't need to put that glossy accents in. Just tie it in a knot and make sure the knot doesn't come too close to the drawer edge, like that. Tie it off and then give it a nice little shape to it because you'll see this when you open the drawer. And then you've got your pulley, if you like, on your drawer front, okay? So that's another way of doing it. I obviously did the band of card where well, I just curve some card um but that looks nice too and what I could do is cover up those holes now I could put like little flowers or gems over those holes and that would make them disappear so that's our draw done and then on the back like I say if you just take yourself I'm sure I'll cut a piece down somewhere this might be it let's see so on the back of that box this will help with the stability of the box we just need to get a bit of card and that's a little bit too high so i'll just cut a smidge off of that and then we're going to pop this on the back of the box and that'll a give it stability and b hide those little workings that we've got going on so that's our drawer all finished and ready to have the gift put inside that we're going to be giving and it's nice and strong and everything's hid okay so we'll set that aside now to dry let's get it squashed down that way probably just put glue all over my mat yep what I like okay now moving on to the wrap okay so the wrap part this one this one's going to fold in the two centre lines that we've got yeah, let's move some of this out of the way. So we've got to reinforce these lines that we made. Also reinforce the tab. Like that. And these tabs are going to be going on the inside, remember? Because you're going to be peering down the inside of the box. And this one comes over and gets scored. This one comes over and gets scored. And the same again on the other side. Now the beauty of this is when this goes together, okay, this is going to be the top of the box which has got the nice folds, okay, so you, this goes on the base like that. So what we're going to do is this is the bottom of the box and this is the top of the box, okay. So what we're going to do is put some wet glue onto this, these tabs here, because they're going to be going inside. And I'm going to use my drawer that we've just made. The other thing to note about this is this is a really good time before you do what I'm doing to add any trimmings you want to the outside of your box. 
um, while it's flat turn it over because they go sorry turn it over they go on that side and you just add your three strips to there it's a lot easier than doing this so what I'm going to do is just move these just try and let you see it's difficult for you to see if I open up that way you can probably see better that way so these tabs are going on to the inside you need to make sure that your edges are not going in too soon too far sorry now uh, because this is the bottom of the box what we can do is have the drawer take the drawer and where's the one I've just made that's going to fit in here all right this is the one we just made and put it in upside down inside there like that and then use that push it up and use that to push against those tabs there as well and also to make sure that you're not making it too tight for the drawer now you want these not to sort of like you don't want these bits to go in because these will overhang when you turn it up the right way you'll see these bits overhanging on the side exaggerated it would look like that and you don't want that you want them to be hidden so what we're going to do now is put some glue onto these probably should have used tape it would have been quicker for drying time so put some glue onto those and obviously you would do it much more carefully than I am and then move the sides in so that they're not overhanging but also you can use that box now to push down that you've got in there if they are overhanging a bit pull it back slightly and just manipulate it until it's right okay and the good thing about having the box in there ready is that everything's going to be fitting around that drawer so you're not going to have any problems when you open and close your drawer it's not going to be too tight too loose or anything like that so I bit shouldn't probably do it yet because the glue's still drying I'm this impatient but I need to show you guys so there we go that's the base of your box so that's your gift box part done and now this is where you add your card so you've got your easel card here and like I say fold it in half now if you just wanted to pop a card on the top you actually could do that you could just put a flat card make a card and put a flat card on the top but I said I'd show you how to do an easel so I will so all you do is fold this in half fold it inside and over and then score that down and the reason I fold it inside and make it flat like that is to ensure that this easel stays upright because if you don't do that it could end up like being in the air a bit and not wanting to sit down on the card so if you do that you're forcing this fold to go forward a little bit to make sure that that will stay on the card wherever you put it okay now then what you do is you take a another piece of card which is the same size so five by five square and just on where the two cards open you just pop some glue on just the bottom bit where the opening is okay so just that bottom half and then you add your card to it like that and then pick it up because it could be different to the bottom one and you want it to be nice and square to the top one I'm just going to turn that over and give that a rub down let the glue dry and what you need to do then is take a piece of paper like your insert that you're going to have inside of your card open your card and put your insert on like this it's always nice to have something beautiful inside your cards I always think and pop that down on there give it a slide it's got a little tiny white border on this one and that's that like so and then I've got this beautiful round topper now you can put foam pads on here to give it dimension etc but I'm just gonna pop it on flat for speed and it's always better to make your card away from your gift box and then just because you're literally just going to stick the base of your card onto your gift box so it just makes it nice and easy and as you can see there it's up to me if I want to have that square or an angle I think it suits an angle better these stripes they were designed to be straight I guess so let's have it like that and then you do need to have a stopper here so something to stop that card from falling down you know so that someone can have it open so you can use anything like I say you can use bows you can use all sorts of things I'm gonna use a butterfly 
So what I'm going to do is just curve the bottoms of the butterfly like this. It's made a card. I'm just going to curve it like that. And then I'm going to leave, I'm going to shape the wings, but I'm going to bring them forward so that that's what is going to help stop the card from moving. You see? So it's, you know, think outside the box with these things. What you can do doesn't have to always be a stopper or band of card or anything like that. It can be something different. So decide how high you want your card to be. If you want it to be, you know, quite the angle. You know, if you want it to be really up or if you want it to be down, then that will determine. You slide it where you want it and then pop your butterfly in place. And just hold that there and let it catch. Like that. Hopefully it's dried now. And then what I'm also going to do is add some flowers. Flowers that, um, or just a flower even. So I can do the same sort of thing. I'm going to curve it the top of it, get it to come round just very gently. And then bring the front round a little bit stronger like that. And then I can have another one. I could either have it at the other end or I can have it with my sitting with my butterfly there. So I can decide on what I want to do there. I think I'll have it next to like that. So just run some glue along the bottom of the flower only. And pop that there. I'm going to think I'm going to tuck the wing like that. So they're together. And just for that. And then you can obviously build all of this up. We can add pearls. We can add ribbons. But as you know, my channel is all about the know-how. So... What we're going to do is just move on and I'll finish that later date. Now, where I've put this paper on the front of my box, I'm also going to put it on the back of my box, okay? Now, I always cut it to size what I think the size should be. And then if it's not quite right, then I'll trim it a little bit. But that looks not too bad. So these are all, because the, the actual size is 5 inch by 1 inch of the outside of the box. So if you cut down to 4 and 7 eighths, by seven eighths then you'll get your strips to go now we need to make sure that our box is up that's the bottom of our box and it's, like I say the glue's still not dry on my box and then we make sure our bands are up the right way and we pop these oh this is going on the back one am I like <laughs> pop that onto the back like that because we've got a draw stopper it's not coming out you will not fall and then we can which one's got glue on that side okay so then we'll do these so I just need to check that they'll fit in okay yeah they look fine and um, this the only one that's ever a little bit off is the draw front you need to measure that one and cut it do it to seven eighths by four and seven eighths or just under and then you'll probably have to trim like I did just to get it to fit perfectly but the other ones usually aren't too bad so like so Get it where you want it. And then finally the other side. So we've got a nice decorated gift box drawer. It's a really cool idea. And I hope you like what I've designed for you. I've changed it up quite a bit from the traditional ones that everyone makes. And I've made it so that it does come um, out of your A4 and your 8.5 by 11 like I say. So it's a nice sturdy little gift box. And you can see there, we've got a little bow there. Now, if that's moving around and you don't want that one sticking up, you can either tuck it and see if it will spin around and go on the other side of itself, or just add a bit of glue and glue it into place down there. And that's if you're going to use ribbon anyway. And then we just pop our card, which isn't dry, <coughs> as always. <laughs> In the life of so, in fact, I'll put the glue onto the box, I think. So it's the same size as the box, the card. Uh, you could make it smaller if you wanted and have borders and matting and layering on here. I haven't done any ma much matting and layering on this one, but I did do it on the other one. Now, just make sure that your card opening is where the drawer opening is, okay? Because you want it to be in the same place. So, just pop your card on top like that. Squash it down. And then we can check it's in the right place. We can have a look around and make sure that it's... Needs to go over that way a bit, which is why I love wet glue. Because you can manoeuvre it. So there you go. We've just made that one together. 
so we've got a nice little easel box decorated it needs more i know it needs more it needs ribbons it needs pearls it needs all sorts and um, this would be a really beautiful one actually for like mother's day or something like that wouldn't it and then your drawer you just pull it you kind of like need to hold the sides or the, the back like that i'm holding the back of the card or you can hold the sides and just have your drawer and like i say nothing shows we've got all our double sided in there we've just got our workings on the inside of there which i don't think we need to worry about do you okay well i hope you enjoyed that tutorial and i'll see you again real soon for another one thanks for watching Bye bye